Are you currently in grade 12? Are you considering an undergraduate degree but unsure of your future career prospect? Well, why not secure your future with a skier skill? Did you know there's a global shortage of engineers, engineering technologists and built environment professionals? In 2017, the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment at the University of Johannesburg will offer a new three-year BH Tech degree and a bachelor's degree in construction management, urban regional planning and mine surveying. The following insert will provide more insight into the field of electrical engineering. Electrical engineering. Heavy current electrical engineering starts off with the electrical generator, the machine. The machine that produces the electricity. It starts off with the transmission system that conveys the electricity from the power stations to the various cities across the country. It starts off with electricity distribution that takes the power at a high voltage, transforms it to a low voltage and distributes it safely into your respective houses, industries and offices. That's heavy current electrical engineering. As we progressed into time, we found a first spin-off and we call that light current. This is now the part where we refer to as electronic engineering. Right? Light current electrical engineering is all about communications, talking from point A to point B that is remote from each other. And, and that has now evolved to the point whereby you could talk to anybody anywhere in the world. So radio technology, television technology, Signal processing is all about light current electrical engineering. That's gone further and, and has now evolved into what we know as electronic engineering. Electronic engineering is very much your digital systems, your analog systems that eventually make up your computers, your cell phones, your radios, your televisions. That's basically light current electrical engineering. And as we progress into time, computers we introduced both analog and digital computers. And this brought forward a whole new understanding in terms of how we apply electrical engineering again, but within the field of what we now define commonly known as control systems, automation, information systems, computer engineering. But again, it's all electrical engineering. So in summary, starting off from the heavy current, we migrated to the light current, and now we're migrating to the, what I would call the smartness of electrical engineering, that of controls and automation. Control and automation is all about adding intelligence, adding intelligence to the various processes that you now need to work through, as in factories, as in industries. You would find that a modal, a modal manufacturer will now use robotic technology to manufacture his cars. These are robots that are controlled, automated, to do the respective welding activity that is required to put together a car, a motor vehicle. So that's where you find the control and automation uh, technology is most dominant. You also find the control and automation very dominant in the aircraft industry. How can we now fly these big, big planes out in the sky without us being there present, but we can control it, we can follow it, we can receive information from it, we can give it uh, signals to, to, to alter its path, we can communicate with it, and, and we could develop safer modes of travel for all of us, as in large, carrying large sort of passenger volumes. And what makes this career in electrical engineering so exciting is this uh, availability of the energy, the accessibility of the energy. It's available at, at, your, at your command. That's, that's what gives it the excitement. It's available at your command. In anyone's daily life, right, you will, you will interact with electrical engineering. And you can straight away, immediately, just look around you and you'll find the evidence of electrical engineering. The lights, right? That's one. Then is the television, the radio, the computer system. And it's also available to you when you are very, very sick. You go into any hospital. It's a medical faculty, it's a medical unit, but you go into each of the wards and as you go deeper and deeper into the intensive care unit, you will find electrical engineering very, very present and keeping you sound and well while the doctors are treating you. Application for a BH Tech in Electrical Engineering requires a minimum APS of 30. Five for English, five for Mathematics, and five for Physical Sciences. Applications to the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment close on the 30th of September. Apply 
via www.uj.ac.za apply.